In the topic for discussion today is ISSR marker technique using agarose gel electrophoresis. Inter-simple sequence repeats take advantage of the SSR or microsatellites that are abundant in all eukaryotic genomes. ISSR marker was developed such that no sequence knowledge was required. Primer based on the repeat sequence for particular crop species were developed. In ISSR markers, the primers are designed such that the primer sequence lies within the repeat sequences and the final anticon obtained consists of the different number of repeats for different sequences. It targets multiple loci. The two procedures involved in using ISSR markers are to run a PCR and an agarose gel electrophoresis. The components needed for the PCR cocktail are prepared and collected. The various components needed are an ice box with tag buffer, tag DNA polymerase, DNTPs, and trimers. 20 and 2 microliter micropipettes are collected, and the genomic DNA samples are checked for concentration and prepared accordingly. Now, the PCR cocktail is prepared. Two microliter of genomic DNA sample is added to the PCR tube. They act as the template for the further amplification. These genomic DNAs differ in the number and position of repeats in them and thus help in finding the polymorphism. Seven point six microliter of distilled water is added to each tube. The distilled water is sterilized before use and it must be free from DNAs. It is added to make up the concentration of the different components in the final reaction mixture and acts as the medium for the reaction to take place. microliter of tag buffer is added. It consists of magnesium chloride 15 millimolar, gelatin 0.1 percentage, Chris HCl 100 millimolar, KCl 500 millimolar concentrations. It helps in maintaining the pH throughout the reaction and magnesium chloride gives magnesium ions which is a cofactor for DNA polymerase. 1.5 microliter of DNTPs are added. It is a mixture of various nucleotides. It acts as a pool for the source of nucleotides for elongation of the DNA molecule. Two microliter of primer is added to each tube. The primer first hybridizes to the complementary sequence of the single standard DNA and helps in initiation of the reaction. Here, the primer sequence is carefully picked from the repeat sequences abundant in the particular species. Point 0.2 microliter of packed DNA polymerase is added to each tube. It is the enzyme that catalyzes the replication of DNA by elongation of the chain. Now, the PCR cocktail is finally ready. As all the components of the PCR cocktail are added to the walls of the PCR tube, it has to be allowed for spinning for 10 seconds to mix all the components well and to bring the mixture to the bottom of the tube. Now, the thermal profile is calculated and set in the thermocycler. Ninety-four degrees Celsius for two minutes. Ninety-four degrees Celsius for one minute. Fifty degrees Celsius for one minute. Seventy-two degrees Celsius for two minutes. Seventy-two degrees Celsius for five minutes. From step two to step five, thirty cycles are continued. And finally, the reaction is maintained at four degrees Celsius.
The PCR cocktail is placed carefully inside the thermocycler. It is allowed to run. The thermocycler is then switched off and the DNA amplicons are retrieved from the thermocycler. The next step is running an agrogel electrophoresis. 1.5% of agrogel is prepared by adding 1.5% of agros in TAE buffer solution and heating it so that on cooling the gel gets solidified. The template and the comb used for casting the gel is wiped free from dust using alcohol. Both the ends of the template are sealed carefully and the comb is placed carefully in its position. The gel is now carefully poured into the gel casting unit without any air bubbles. After solidification of the gel, the comb is removed slowly without damaging the wells and the solidified gel along with its template is removed. The gel template is placed inside the tank buffer. For loading the sample, the loading buffer is placed on the paraffin. And the DNA amplicons are mixed well with the loading buffer and loaded into the wells. In, in this way, all the wells are loaded and the power pack is set at 100 volts and is switched on. The gel is allowed to run for 20 minutes, after which the power pack is switched off and the gel is removed from its template. The gel is now placed in ethidium bromide solution for 20 minutes. The concentration of the ethidium bromide solution is 0.5 microgram of ethidium bromide per ml of water. Ethidium bromide stacks to the hydrogen bond in the DNA molecules and on exposure to UV light, they fluoresce, thus enabling the visualization of the DNA molecule. After 20 minutes, the gel is carefully removed from the ethidium bromide solution and it is washed thoroughly in the distilled water to remove any traces of ethidium bromide as it is highly carcinogenic.
The gel is now placed in the alpha image jar and visualized in UV trans illumination. The bands are then interpreted and identified for polymorphism and identity. Different bands are formed in the same genome due to different number of repeats at different loci of the same genome, thus enabling us to find polymorphism using ISSR markers.